take our next flake. That's in, down, and that was an overshoot. One of the most common questions that I see in flint napping is how do you remove long flakes with a pressure flaker? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. I'll be using a tine from a white-tailed deer. My point is made from a piece of obsidian. Some people like to use platforms that are already there. Some people like to create a single platform for each, each flake they remove. And others, like myself, like to use a continuous platform. Uh, that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. And to start, I'm just going to take my uh, abrader. I'm going to use my abrader and I'm going to create a single platform that runs all the way down the edge. And I'm going to raise it to one side. Like this. Now you don't want to abrade too much and make the edge too strong. Because that can cause, cause you to take a bite which is a huge chunk out of the edge, and you don't want to do that. That just creates more work. So to get started, this is obsidian, so it's very easy to overshoot a flake. You kinda want to pay attention to where your fingers are. If you overshoot one, you'll definitely know because you'll feel it hit your fingers, if not cut you. So it's best if you have a uh, piece of leather to wrap around the other edge just in case but I don't have one handy so I'm gonna throw caution to the wind now the key to removing a long flake is pressure and motion and the pressure you put more pressure down and then you snap it away it's kind of like almost a scooping action. Push in, then down. And you want to put more pressure in than you are putting down. And what will happen is that force that you're putting in will follow through and peel that flake off as you're pushing down. That makes sense? Okay, another thing is the leather you use. A hard piece of leather will cause your flakes to terminate prematurely. What I'm using is brain tan and it's wrapped around a piece of leather that I got from a leather coat. So it's still fairly soft. You also want to try to get this little channel worked into your piece of leather. So, start off at the first spot. You can start at the tip or the the tip or the base. Doesn't really matter. Tip is easier though. So, we removed our first flake. Now for the next flake. You get this ridge, and it's kind of a clamp shape. Well, we need to move this little ridge right here. We need to move it over this way just a touch so we get more of a straight line going this way. So what I'm going to do is take a smaller flake right here, and that's just almost straight down. She slipped off. There we go. Yeah, it's closer to a straight line to how I want. So we're going to remove our next long flake. So we take our next flake. That's in, down. And that was an overshoot. I felt that. But 
it wasn't bad. And our flake went from here, clear over to here. <clears throat> so the next thing I want to do, is I'll just take a small flake from right here and move this line over just a little bit more. Now with obsidian, Running flakes longer with obsidian, running long flakes is a lot easier than with stone. But you can still get overshots with stone. Okay, so if there's more. More of a straight down. Take our next flake. And the edge crystal. Okay. So on that one, the edge crushed. So I've got to. Do some damage control real quick. And take flex from the other direction. So I can make that edge just a little bit stronger. Take a small flake. And there's a tiny step in that. Take a small flake there. Now 
Yeah, it's time to take the long flake. So the sequence goes, long flake, short flake. Well, it'd be, start with a short flake. The sequence would be short flake, long flake, short flake, long flake. So, the next flake will be right here. Let's see if I can show you the edge. Okay, time to take the next flake. Just right there. Make sure you have your cavity behind it. And that flake went from here all the way over to right there. So the next step would be to either turn your edge to this side, we're gonna take flex off this side, or you can work the other edge. It's up to you. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already, and have a nice day. We'll see you later.